Thank you, Valerie. It's our testimony time. Ego will translate today. Ego, please. Hello, Valerie. This is Ego. I will translate for you. How are you? Good. Thank you, Ego. I'm ready. <laughs> this is a testimony written by Pastor Rudy Holland. How do we face our enemies? How do we live in this world and overcome the evil influences of the world? Chapter 5 of Joshua contains the elements of victorious living for us to follow. Note, the children of Israel have crossed Jordan into the promised land. They are now going to face opposition from the inhabitants of the land. Their blessing of being in the land now will require them to battle to possess the land. As believers in Christ, we must always recognize the conflict we face with the world and our flesh. As we read through the fifth chapter of Joshua, we note several things that seem to be steps of preparation for the people to possess the land. First, as we have already noted in a previous devotion, Joshua circumcised all the males that had come out of Egypt and had wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. This act of circumcision was in obedience to the word spoken to Abraham regarding the covenant made between him and the Lord. This covenant promised the descendants of Abraham the land. The sign of this covenant was the circumcision of the males within the nation. Secondly, we see the people's need for food being replaced from the gathering of manna that fell from the heaven to working the land for their provisions. The people's needs would now require the labor of the people. For 40 years, God had sent supernaturally the manna from heaven to feed them. Thirdly, in preparation for the battle ahead, there was given to Joshua a witness of the presence of the Lord. It would be the power of the Lord that would overcome the enemies 
though Joshua and the people had some responsibilities to perform. My thoughts for today is a challenge for you to read the fifth chapter of Joshua and allow God to speak to you of the elements required of you to live victoriously in this life. We will find the recipe for living the Christian life in the pages of the Word of God. Though God will give us the victory over evil and the temptations of the world, we must work and be diligent to do all the things commanded us from the Lord. As we face challenges in this life, we have the witness of the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives. God gives to each of us the Holy Spirit to live in us at the moment of our salvation. He is to guide us and give us instruction as to how we can overcome evil and the challenges we face in this life. May God help each of us to possess the victories in this life already won for us in Christ Jesus. God bless you and have a great day. Thank you, Valerie. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, Eagle. So you can lead, lead us to read the Lord's Prayer. Yes, repeat after me. Our Father in heaven. Oh, Father, 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 Father in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Your, name. your kingdom come. Your kingdom come. Your, kingdom come. Come. your will be done. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. And forgive us our debts. As we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen.